Buddhist medicine it encompasses basically all the things you're going to meet out in the wilderness. So uh, my um, interest in wilderness medicine is obviously the diving aspect. So diving medicine, marine envenomations, you know, everything you get bit and stung and poked by under the water and what it can do to you. Uh, and then high altitude physiology, hyperthermia, hypothermia, snake bites, improvisation in the wilderness, how do you rescue somebody who's you know, unconscious, they fell off a cliff rock climbing, um, have broken bones, how do you stabilize them and get them out of the wilderness. So there's a lot of things that um, apply to emergency medicine, because all those things we deal with also in emergency medicine, it's just taking them out into the wilderness and learning how to improvise and take care of them out there. There's no true specialty in wilderness medicine, um, although there are fellowship programs that can train people um, in wilderness medicine uh, that emergency medicine physicians will often do. It's also a one-year program. Um, there's a wilderness medical society that anybody in any specialty can belong to, and they offer meetings and courses where people can go and get trained more in wilderness medicine. We actually offer a course for medical students um, in wilderness medicine. It's uh, usually offered in the fall quarter, um, and it uh, meets once a week, and we kind of go through all the different topics of wilderness medicine. Um, so medical students can do that. We don't have a rotation yet in the later years for medical students, but we're interested in, in potentially putting one together. Uh, but I got into it through diving medicine, and same thing, I'll go and be a trip physician. I've done that going to Nepal and being the trip physician on a, a climbing expedition. Um, but there's all sorts of things you can do with wilderness medicine. And I think emergency medicine is one of the ideal specialties to enter into kind of the wilderness arena because you have all the background training already. UCSD, we're unique in that because we're so close to the ocean, we get a lot of ocean-related things. So stingray injuries, we see that, you know, as soon as the water's warm and the stingrays are out at La Jolla shores, people are stepping on them, and so we'll see a lot of stingray injuries. Um, jellyfish stings, you know, the occasional shark bite. Um, the uh, uh, surfing injuries, um, the diving injuries. But then even just, you know, San Diego is such a nice outdoor place, the falling over the handlebars and mountain bikes and getting all sorts of fractures and trauma, um, hiking, poison oak, poison ivy. Uh, we'll see people, you know, come from the Midwest and spend the day on the beach, really bad sunburn. You know, all of these kind of environmental illnesses as part of wilderness medicine as well as emergency medicine.